Thank you, organizers. It's a nightmare. A 48-year-old man with an engine of six months, uh, angiogram done outside with the TVD of a CTO LED in the RCA. So uh, LED and circumflex done one week back, and this is actually basically the complication was in the RCA. They attempted an integrate CTO in the RCA, failed. It was looking like a simple one, but it is actually they failed. So we have seen retrograde connections very well. So we tried with a filter FC with a caravel wire. So the directly the wire goes inside. You can see that uh, taken the real path, which uh, filter FC has taken inside. You can see the wire goes easily. So the once the wire gone, in, this is actually, I've taken a Sukhothri wire because of the angulation there. So Sukhothri wire reached exactly into the opposite vessel. We just take the wire into the cute marginal. So the caravel reached there. The wire was not crossing. Naturally, you have taken a Gaia second wire. Gaia second is not reaching. Caravel with integrate to the side branch again. We have taken a caravel integrate to the side branch because um, we have to take a reverse cut there. But it is not easy to connect that. Wire went. We took a 2 into 10 millimeter balloon into the side branch to create uh, angulation and uh, this is actually a support. The wire is not reaching. Finally, the Gayatri crossed the CTO. Once the virus crossed the CTO, it is actually going out of the vessel. So we took in different angles. You can see that actually, so the, we changed the catheter into AL1, and the one and grade with the Gaia second wire and grade. We wanted to do a reverse cut to reach that. Gayatri and grade, not crossing. UV3, retrograde, finally. We went into the vessel because of the dialect. Once it is externalized, UV3 externalized, Congress Pro 12 and great caravel externalized. Till this part is easy. So RG3 externalized, 2 into 12 millimeter balloon. So the procedure is looking very simple now. So we crossed caravel with the filter FC, cyan black to start with, Sugar 3 cross the septal collateral, Gaia 2 wire. Cross the dietary cross the CTO and in integrate. This is the situation. We took a 3.544 ablumen stent dilated. So we can see that there is this gap between that is a distal to the stent to the bifurcation. So my plan was to take a stent from the distal RCA to the PDA. So my colleagues were telling better to take the stent into the PLV. So the, when you wanted to take a stent into the PLV, we decided to take another wire. The wire went. So the caravel got stuck there. So you understand that the caravel actually taken back. The caravel went inside. And we wanted to withdraw the wire distally. So we have to put one more wire in the stent distally in either of the vessel, that is PD or PLV. Withdrawn the caravel in a hurry. The caravel with the wire, anti-grade wire, came out. So now my caravel wire with the filter FC and the grade with a piece coming out. So this is actually what is happening. So what is the situation I'll explain again. We have a CTO segment there. So the RG3 wire is already there. We have an anti grade wire with the filter FC. The caravel is sitting there. So the caravel with the filter FC wire and the grade stuck together because of this probably it was stuck in the stent strut distally. Then it is coming back, caravel pull back I don't want to pull everything together because the septal artery will be completely uh, destroyed by this caravel with the wire stuck there. So this is this caravel gone into the anti-grade wire. So a lot of struggle, chest pain and BP fall. So both catheters are out. I removed both the catheters, but you can see both the wires of the RG3 on either side is in my hand. Finally, we have put tip of microcatheter and a piece of wire inside the stenter segment. I recandidated the RCA catheter through the same RG3. The patient has a severe chest pain. I understood that there is a thrombus inside the RCA catheter. Mm -hmm. Thrombus with a no-flow distally. We put a filter FC again, a new wire into the filter FC because I wanted to save the patient. One more stent, a 2.75 into 28. But you should understand that the new stent is coming through the new wire. So the RG3 is inside, overlapping the first segment. 
I put another stent because actually I just want, I have so a lot of thrombus in the proximal part. So 3 into 40 is stent proximally. Then we started at 6 my ball is an infusion. Everybody will be confused. I was also confused. So I saw the dissection in the left main. You understand the catheter was gone inside a dissection in the left main. And there is an already, there is a stent which is done by an outside person with the LMC, LAD as well as circumflex. The stent is gone inside and the catheter gone inside and dissected and no balloon goes inside. So I tried with a wire inside, but the wire gone, but no device including a microcatheter crosses. Tried all the balloons, Ikasushi, Zero, Ryuri, 1.25, um, all wires. What next? I took another wire, bent it because a bending wire goes inside the vessel, probably in the right lumen. So taking a wire, bending, it goes inside. Balloon dilated. When I just took it, the 1.25 balloon, then I understood that the previous 10 got crumbed there. Once it is a crumbed, you can see there is a crumbing. I took a 2.5 in the 12 millimeter balloon, 3.5 in the 12 millimeter balloon. Guide cell I have taken to take another stent. 4 into 26 with overlapping stent. Now, there is a stent coming up through the guide cell from the previous stent. But my unluck, NC balloon has suction, no inflation. You can see that that part is not opened up. So the stent overlapping with the already existing vessel, it is not opened up. So what I should do, you can see there is a segment which is not opened up. I took a 3.5 into 10 OPN balloon there. I went up to 40 atmosphere, opened up. Then I saw there is a segment. I, you should understand there is RG3 virus out and that is bare in the proximal, osteoproximal part of the LMCA. I cannot keep that wire because it will create thrombus. I took another 4.5 into 12 millimeter stent in the LMCA from the ostium into the previous one. Dilated, checked in different angles. I got an excellent flow there. So the final message is I put three stents in RCA, three stents in LAD, one stent in circumflex, RG3 wiring hanging in the iota up to the common iliac artery in both vessels because I pulled the common iliac and cut it and kept the wire there. Abscess mag infusion given for 24 hours, symptom free for the last three years, but the patient is follow up with only with me, not with any other cardiologist. So